Hi guys, welcome to my podcast. My name is Nicole and I'm the brains and the beauty behind Yarn Craft by Nicole. Today on this wonderful episode, I've got my juniper cowl on for my featured make this week. I absolutely love wearing this cowl. It's a TL Yarn Crafts design and it's just a riot of color. I use leftover sock weight skeins. I think the pattern originally calls for mini skeins and there's a lot of really pretty versions of that too. But for me, I just kind of went through my sock weight stash and I absolutely love it. And it, it makes me feel happy every time I wear it. So I'm really thrilled with this pattern and it's chilly. Um, it's been chilly this whole week. So it has definitely been the season to break this out. So I was gone last week and I have lots of things to show you. So I guess I will start with my finished makes. So the first thing I wanna show you is this scarf that I made for my sister, which is so pretty. Um, I actually just pulled it off of the blocking mats today. I'll take this off real quick so y'all can kind of see zoop, what it looks like on, but it is a two-tone Tunisian simple stitch. And I used my leftovers from the Catalina cardigan that I made. So this is all Barocco vintage DK and I absolutely love it. Like I'm kind of jealous that I'm giving this scarf away because it just hangs beautifully. It's nice and warm. That particular yarn vintage from Barocco is a wool and acrylic blend. So it's affordable and it also does have that layer of warmth. So I'm really excited about this one. In fact, I'm starting a scarf for myself using the same, same pattern, same stitches. It's pretty long. I kind of just went till I ran out of yarn. And then at both of the ends, I've got a couple of rows of just kind of that maroon color there. So very pleased with this. I'll be sending this out to her tomorrow, which will be nice. It also makes me want to make all of the sweaters and all of the everything out of this delightful yarn. So that's my first finished project. And like I said, I'm a big fan of it. I'm gonna throw this back on. Zoop. If you don't make a sound effect, did it really happen? The next things that I finish are, um, this one is also for my sister. Her favorite color is orange, and I actually had some orange left over from, I think it was from the custom blanket that I made for someone, because one of the members of his family has a orange, no, 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 it was because they're uh, Chicago Bears fans. So, made this hat for my sister. It uses, isn't it cute? Isn't it fun? It uses the linen stitch for these uh, stripes right there. And then some double crochet at the top, little pom-pom. Kind of just made this up as I went using some fun yarns, but it's also, it's by the same company. It's also a vintage Barocco yarn. This is just their worst weight version. So tons of fun. And then because I had leftovers, I love leftovers. I also made this hat. So this is, I'm just gonna get a little try on for you for all of these items today. This is my pattern. This is the simple stretch beanie. I just made a two-tone version. So all of this is extended single crochet. And then I've got some single crochet and double crochet and then the ribbing. But I always wondered what the hat would look like two-toned and I had the yarn and I had the time. So this one will end up in my Etsy shop. So I'm really thrilled with that. Um, it's a nice, kind of lightweight, kind of midweight hat that would be good to throw over anything really. And I like the bright color. Um, I know that orange is not an easy color for a lot of people to wear, but it just, for me, it just makes me happy with that. A little bit of gray at the bottom. So that you'll see that in my Etsy shop probably this week. And then this is also more leftover yarn from the Catalina cardigan. I don't know if my gauge was just, it must have been a lot smaller than intended. Even though I, I measured it with blocking and all of that, I just had a lot of leftover yarn. And I'll have to go back and see, like, did I have to buy one extra skein for just a little bit of yarn? But regardless, I had a lot of extra yarn. So then I also made this kind of slouchy hat. No pattern for this one either. We'll, we'll see if I, if I write a pattern for this one. But it's mostly um, double crochet. And then there are some, I think it's actually inside out. Joop. Again, sound effects. There we go. You can see the stitches a little bit better this way. Um, double crochet, single crochet, 
some gap rows, some cross stitches, but it's also deeper. You can tell it looks a little bit more oblong. So it works well as more of a slouchy hat. Like, my goodness, how cute is that? Let me put the little tab in the back. Boop. Very cute, kind of like this look a lot. I'm not a huge hat person, and sometimes I forget that other people are. And I sometimes forget to make hats for the Etsy shop, but I thought this was cute. And you can still see the texture right there. Um, but I like this a lot. I would wear this. It will also be in the Etsy shop. Then I got two more things. That's right. Two more things that are going to be in the Etsy shop here soon. I had this really pretty faux fur that, um, it was go for faux from Lion brand and I bought it on like ridiculous clearance a long time ago and it's just been sitting in my stash. So I took it with me on a road trip and was like, I'm going to use this. And so I did. So I actually knitted this because for me, if I'm doing something with faux fur, I know enough on how to knit to just, you know, garter stitch the whole thing. And that's what I did here because it's, it's just hope, so hard to see your stitches. So it kind of doesn't make sense to do anything fancy. And knitting was just easier for me to do it with something like this. But it's just a little cowl. Little. It's just a cowl. Um, and I don't know if this is coming through on the screen, but there are little flecks actually. Yeah, you can kind of see little flecks of gold in this. So I thought that was really pretty. And that was made with two skeins of the Go For Faux. And then I had one additional skein that was this really pretty navy. And you can see a little bit of the gold flecks in there too. And it's just a lot shallower, but it still works well. So these are also going to go in the Etsy shop. In fact, I did some pictures of them today. So these should be in the Etsy shop later. But I thought they were really cute, quick projects. Would be really cute with a holiday outfit or just if you want something a little bit more glam. I was very pleased with the ways that those came out. And that completes all of my completed objects. And I've got, excuse me, I've got a couple of small in progress uh, projects. <laughs> excuse me. So one of them is the same design as my sister's scarf. I'm trying to go through my stash. So I had some white and some black acrylic. This, this is, um, it is a Yarn Bee Yarn Company yarn, and it says it's a DK. It's very thin. And then this, I think, is, I'm not sure which brand this one is because it's been in my stash for a little while, but I think this one was labeled as a sport weight, but they work really well together. And they're both acrylic, so they'll, they'll hold up well. And it's really cute. It looks like houndstooth. And I'm a big fan of black and white, as you can tell. I did a little bit more on the bottom of this one because I have a lot more of the white than I do of the black. And I'm just going to go until I run out of black. It might end up being a infinity scarf, or if it's long enough, then I'll just keep it as a traditional scarf and block it the same way. But really thrilled with that. Very happy with it. I also want to do a design for a cowl using the stitch and then also a throw blanket. We'll see what time allows for. What's also cool about the stitches is that, so this is the front, cool. And then the back just looks like stripes. So I'm a fan, I like this a lot. And that's just a for me project. The other thing that I'm working on, which should look very familiar just to my background, is I'm making with continued leftovers, these wonderful little flowers, kind of look like sunflowers. The, the middle is more of a maroon than a brown. And then the outside is kind of a car carroty yellow, carroty orange. But I am making up a bunch of these guys. And then I'm going to make a small table runner using the same method that I've used for the blanket behind me. So I'll start with it kind of one in the center and then I think six go around the outside. And then we'll see how many I have. I thought also it would be cute to do like maybe just some small flowers of just the gold on the outside. We'll see what happens, but this is another kind of scrap busting project, but they're so cute. And honestly, even though I'm using the same pattern and this is a DK weight, they're not that much smaller than 
my worsted scraps behind me. So very happy with these. They're cute and they're a good TV project. That's all my current projects. I will say, I went ahead and pulled this book out for y'all. Fix this crazy hair. That I have been itching to make another sweater. I think it's because it's been cold and I am done with pattern tests for this year. And I just don't have a big project. And I don't have a big project for a gift or anything like that this year. I think I might change my mind. But I bought Janine's uh, Miska, I believe that I'm saying her name right. Um, Knits and Knots. I bought her book earlier this year and I decided that I really want to make a birthday sweater for myself. My birthday is in December and thought it would be fun to wear something that I've made because it'll be cold enough here for me to wear something that I've made. So I'm going to show you kind of the two options that I'm thinking about. One of which is the Burning Embers. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the Burning Embers V-neck. So this is what it, ooh, this is what it looks like in the front. A pretty V-neck, long sleeves, and then the back has this really cute bow detail. And I thought that would be that would be kind of cute and fun and flirty for my birthday. Or the other one that I was looking at is a little off the shoulder number called Amber Magic. And I thought that would be really cute too. So I haven't decided which one I wanna do. Kinda of wanna do something either in a sparkle yarn or maybe a velvet, or maybe just like a really interesting hand dyed speckle. But I think by the time that we talk next week, maybe I will have chosen the pattern and then what yarn I wanna use. So. That's an upcoming project. I haven't made anything from her book yet. And there are several fun patterns in here that I really want to try. And I think giving myself the goal of doing one for my birthday would be an achievable and fun goal. <sighs> okay, guys. So I went to Joann's looking for buttons for the little Christmas ornaments, which I'm hoping by November that I can put some of those in the Etsy shop. I only have a couple of them that I haven't given away as gifts or that I haven't earmarked as gifts, but I'm hoping by November I can put some of those in the Christmas shop, or I'm sorry, in the Etsy shop for the holidays. But I went into Joann's looking for more buttons and I came away with a lot of yarn, but one, it was on sale, and two, I know what I'm gonna do with it. So I justified my purchase. So the first yarn that I bought is three skeins of wool ease, which I know is a staple in a lot of crafters stashes but I've never used it and it is a category four yarn and it is a blend of 80% acrylic 20% wool so I got two skeins of this really pretty cranberry color and then one skein of let's see if it has a cute name gray heather and so my goal is to do a cowl out of the same whoop, out of the same Tunisian two-tone so do a cowl where you're doing those two colors this way, like making a wide enough um, strip, wide enough scarf, to do that two-tone this way, sew it up the back with these two colors together, and then at the top, do a ribbing along the top and the bottom. And I think that would be really cute. And I think I can write a pattern for that. So I bought these three yarns thinking that I'll do that soon. Um, so I'm excited about that. I kind of want to see if I can do it with just three skeins because I want it to be a quick project that you could do for a gift, but also just a budget friendly project because it's really easy to spend a lot of money on yarn and this would be cozy and cute. I think it would look really cute for the holidays. I'm imagining it with like a black dress with some fun lipstick. I just, I think it would be cute. So expect to see that from me relatively soon. And then this was on clearance. Well, kind of, it was on sale and I've been eyeing this for a while. It's called Big Twist Reverb. And it is like a lightly twisted, let me show you on the screen, a lightly twisted yarn that I wonder if it would kind of felt or fuzz up, but the colors are just so ridiculously 
happy and ready for fall that I just needed to try it. So I think that I want to do an oversized wrap and maybe even in Tunisian since I feel like I'm developing some confidence in that category and just kind of see what happens. But I really liked these. The color of this is rust red, but they had several other ones. There was one that had a little bit of gray and blue and pink that it was really cute, but I just thought these were adorable. These would also make really cute crocheted pumpkins, which I've seen everywhere and I have made nary a one, but the colors would work, work really well with that. So I bought that out of curiosity. And then the last one I bought, this is also from Big Twist, uh, was also pretty much out of curiosity and I might have bought more than I need. So I bought Big Twist Mellow. Ooh, and it looks good on screen. Mm. Um, the name of this color is Wine, appropriate. It looks a smidge darker in person than it is coming across, but it's got this little bit of glitter or Selena that is in there and it's a super bulky yarn and I just couldn't leave it at the store. There were five skeins at the store and I bought all five. I'm not 100% sure what this is going to become. I don't crochet a lot with bulky yarn, um, but we'll see. I have an idea for a Christmas tree skirt, but I think the yarn I have upstairs will work well for that. So this might become, I don't know, maybe like a little capelet. That would be cute. Um, another oversized wrap. I haven't quite decided. Table, uh, placemats, who knows? But it was too cute to leave at the store, so I got it. And that, my friends, is all I've got for you this week. It feels like I <laughs> was working over overtime on some of these projects, but like I said earlier, I don't have a big one that I'm working on consistently. I do have one other project that I can't show you right now because it's a secret project with Wonderland. And um, so I'm working on that too, but it's been kind of nice to not have anything huge that I'm working on and to just knock out a whole bunch of small projects. And I do still have some things in my stash that I want to get through. I also have these minis from, and I have them in a vase because this is how they are on, um, <laughs> on my bookshelf until I decide what I'm going to do with them. I do also have these minis that I am going to hopefully design a shawl with later this year. And, um, so I've got a couple of other things that I'm working on, but it's been nice to not have anything besides the secret project that's on a specific deadline. So I've had fun just making whatever I felt like making. And with that, I will wrap up with what I can't let go. And what I can't let go of this week is that y'all, it, it snowed today and it's October and it's too early for that nonsense. And I, I'm not ready. Like last year, I got through the Michigan winter and I was told it was mild and I was really proud that I had gotten through it. But, but y'all, it's too early. It's too early for snow and I'm not ready. And I don't want a hard winter our last winter here. So that's what I can't let go of. And uh, just knowing that I'm going to be pretty snuggled up the rest of the day, even though the snow has stopped. Um, just, just enjoying the indoor, <laughs> indoor scenario instead of being outdoors. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful weekend. I'll see you right back here next week. Bye, guys.